Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and assalamu alaikum. Do you know why Nelson Mandela came to power? Not only he, why Mahatma Gandhi, Adolf Hitler, Fidel Castro, Saddam Hussein and Zulfiqar Ali Bhutto came to power because they all believed in themselves. They all believed in their capabilities to change the mindset of their people. They fully believed in their ideologies. Many would even say they were ruthless in ensuring their ideas came to fruition. Most of all, people followed them as they appeared to be strong and confident. Ladies and gentlemen, self-confidence is a necessity to survive in this mean world. Science has proven this, that everybody on the face of this earth is born selfish. When you go like, I'm stepping back, I'm not meant to do it, why me? He's gonna laugh at me, they're gonna make fun of me, they're gonna talk about me. Yes, they're gonna make fun of you because they cannot see you as a successful person. They cannot see you above them. They can't step forward, so they hold you back. This is the bitter truth of the world. Let us all take an example of a girl born in the United States without arms. Yes, without arms. As she grew up, she wanted to be a pilot. So she became one. But the question is how? And the answer is because she didn't give up. She didn't let her so-called disability affect her dreams. And now she, or Jessica Cox, is the first armless licensed pilot in the world. Due to her incredible achievement, Oxford University needs to exclude the word impossible from its dictionaries. We, students, many of us in the room, are halfway through our GCSEs and are struggling to do it. Not because we find it difficult, but because we choose to make it difficult for ourselves. If we think we cannot do it, this will be an uphill struggle. Many of us are from different parts of the world, from a different race, from a different culture, speaks a different language, or follows a different religion. But if we don't let these barriers stand in the way of our success, they won't. Believe me, they won't. Be persistent. You can do it. The only thing stopping you is your own self. But if it's not, no power on earth can stop you. At the end, I would just say, believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. Dream big and never give up. There's no point of me standing here for two minutes and you clapping at the end. That is very good indeed. This is not going to help any one of us. Don't be afraid to fail. Theodore Roosevelt once said, and I quote, each time we face our fear, we gain strength, courage, and confidence in the doing. Nothing is impossible. To me, impossible means I am possible. Thank you.